post note of the But um, I do work for the Grand Canyon Trust. I'm our Grand Canyon director. Um, Jack, who will be joining us soon, is Grand Canyon manager. Um, and at the Grand Canyon Trust, um, our, the Grand Canyon program itself. Um, oh, hey, here's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk to after a little bit? Tag team. Morning, everyone. Morning, John. Um, so my name is Jack Pongesa. I am the Grand Canyon Trust. I work at the Grand Canyon Trust. I'm the uh, Grand Canyon Program Manager. And uh, I also lead the group in their Tribal Centennial Conversations group. Everyone hear me? And today I'm talking to you about um, our river education project that we're, that we're doing. Um, some of you might have heard of it already. But uh, yeah, we've been at it for a while, but um, we're going to do some good steps forward. So excited about that. I'm also introducing the ICCG group. Um, ben is one of the members. Thank you, Bennett, for filling in. Um, so yeah, appreciate being here. So the ICCG program, Intertribal Centennial Conversations Group. Uh, that's the group that uh, basically was formed in 2018 in preparation for the parks, the Great National Parks 100 year anniversary. Um, you know, a lot of tribal members look at the 100 years anniversary as 100 years of being excluded out of the park instead of, you know, celebration of the a century of being a park. So um, with that, a uh, uh, group of tri tribal members uh, met and had conversations about their feelings about the park and then how they would like to see in the next 100 years. Um, and so, the group is about, you know, finding new avenues and opportunities to uh, make a more inclusive freaking national park. So that's kind of in a nutshell. Um, it's pretty complex, but that's simplified, very simple, boiled down version of it. Um, our vision statement's right there. Um, there on the right. And uh, yeah, I, I like to put this picture up here. Um, those of you who uh, were at the workshop yesterday, you know, that's, that might look familiar, but um, that's, this picture uh, illustrates the homelands of the tribe, of some of the tribes, and you know uh, you can see how they overlap, and it's you know very more fluid than um, you know arbitrary borders and lines we have today. So I just like to, to look at that sometimes. And then on the right, you have the, the reservations that are there today um, that those same tribes kind of were were kind of prescribed to. So um, that I like to put that up there. And then, so there's 11 tribes that have ancestral uh, ties uh, or and cultural connections to Grand Canyon. Um, how many, can anyone name a Grand Canyon tribe? And those of you who were in the workshop, <laughs> can anyone name a tribe? Okay, Zuni. Hopi. Okay, I don't know how to name it. Okay. No, no. All right. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Pueblo. Las Vegas. Nice. Nice. Las Vegas. Hi. Okay. Uh, those of you who were talking to me, joining Yeah, by Apache. Good job. No Wapa. Nice. Okay. Oh, dang, I did it on for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see. Yeah, so one more. there we go. <laughs> Those are the tribes. Good job, everyone. That was great. Um, you know, our group, we have representation from about, I'd say, like six or seven of these tribes, I think. Yeah, like seven uh, and, or six. And, and now we're trying to really uh, do outreach. I'm really happy that uh, Autumn Gillard, Gillard is here to do a presentation for y'all because you know, these, these Paiute bands are, you know, smaller than community size. And um, uh, yeah, so we're really just trying to have that outreach and be able to get that, those voices in our group as well to have that kind of wholesome um, unification. But yeah, um, that's a lot of tribes. And I just think it's, uh, you know, very necessary to have those voices, uh, you know, um, amplified because some people 
don't even know these tribes exist in the Grand Canyon. So that, that's what our education uh, tools and, and uh, uh, project is really about, is getting that awareness at that most basic and fundamental level going. So um, ICC G group, again, it's the Intertribal Centennial Conversation Group. We focus in three areas um, of, uh, of our efforts. Um, and that's education, economic uh, development, or economic paradigms, and uh, stewardship. Education being the short term, economic paradigm being the you know, mid term, and then uh, stewardship long term, long term goals. Um, so, so the the Colorado River um, Education Project would definitely be under the education uh, category, and kind of what we we really want to do with it is make a tool that um, y'all as river guides can use and uh, be able to um, comfortably use, you know, and, and share about the histories and the cultures of the Great Canyon tribes, um, which is tricky, you know. We have, you know, 11 tribes and every tribe that is different. And we wanna make sure that we're putting out materials that are appropriate to share, because, you know, cultural sensitivity is very important. We're make, we want to make sure that um, you know the guide you as guides are comfortable sharing that just in case you know you don't want to have people you know deterred from using the, pro, the the tools because you know they're uncomfortable sharing it you know say it's something about Indian culture or there's a story or something like that so very tricky finding those right um, like the right content for the for the project and also you know one thing that we really established in our last ICC meeting with the tribal members is that. Um, this this project is going to serve a more long term goal as well. You know, I think um, having a, a tool for y'all is kind of a stepping stone or, or the jumping off point. Um, and we really want this project to be there for you know hiking and for um, you know use of the Great National Park, but also to pass on to our native youth at you know far 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 down the road. That just in case they don't have the you know. Uh, excuse me, the aunts or uncles or the relatives to teach them their, their culture. You know, this could maybe be a you know baseline education tool for them as well because uh, the cultures of these tribes. You know, in, in, in my tribe in general, every tribe it's it's they're, they're dying. You know, people aren't motivated to learn or they still don't have access. Like I said, to a relative who who's willing or able to teach them or. They just, uh, yeah, they are, they're just not motivated these days, but we're all of the above, you know. So um, we really want this to also be kind of a living and, and breathing tool and always evolving to uh, be able to really continue the culture down the road in case uh, and the need arises. So um, anyway, so, so like I said, it'll be kind of the first um, jumping off point for, for application of this project for y'all. Uh, we, we just decided to have a advisory committee um, made up of our ICCG tribal members. So that's exciting. So we can kind of have that guidance um, every step of the way. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, like I said, we're starting with very, very basics. Um, and so that it's easier for everyone to, to kind of grab a hold of these. Um, and we really want to integrate feedback from y'all um, with this first part of the project. Yesterday was a great first step. Um, we really appreciate everyone who joined and gave feedback and was participating in the in the lesson plan activity. That was great. I think we got some really valuable feedback there. But we really hope to continue those kind of activities and, and integration of, of uh, y'all's pers perspective on how it's going and what's the best to use the lesson plans or whatever we put out to, to help with that education on the river. Um, and then also it will be free of charge, you know, we charge for it. So uh, we think that's a great benefit as well. All right, like I said, jumping off point stepping stone. Yesterday, for those of you who were in the room, we were there yesterday. Uh, so I just might do a little bit of review, but um, we put out two lesson plans. Uh, we hope we all would um, think about using, think about and possibly use them on the river this year uh, with your passengers on a commercial trip. Um, the first we put out to first lesson plan is called Lucky My Name, and it really introduces the, that awareness part that I was talking about, um, you know, that these tribes exist, that a lot of people don't know, um, and, and it really starts to explore how things are named in the Grand Canyon, you know, geologic formations, different spots, different uh, parts of the canyon, and uh, it, it takes in comparison to the a little bit, um, 
the uh, uh, how tribes name things and kind of the meaning and different reasons behind that naming. Uh, and then also how you know uh, Western society tends to name things and, and uh, uh, mark areas. Um, and just kind of see the difference between that. And we really want to kind of have people uh, kind of try on two cultural lenses or at least be able to kind of see them side by side and then kind of focus on what the underlying values are and how those, you know, associate with each, I guess, uh, society or group of people as in the, the indigenous people in Western society. And uh, yeah, I think it just kind of speaks to, like I said, the underlying values and principles that are there. Um, and then also uh, some, you know, discussion topic uh, prompts. They, they're very, uh, very surface level. It's, it's nothing too deep. But um, yeah, so it also kind of uh, talks about, you know, the, those, it compares actual names of these scary and we have examples and we have some uh, tribal or, sorry, um, uh, words in, in different languages like wild bison, like very, just one word in a very simple, uh, pretty popular words. They're found in, found in um, some public education tools. We don't want to just take things that are, you know, like I said, inappropriate to share. So it's just, yeah, it, it really has that comparison to fair and contrast and everything. Um, and then the second one is Threats of the Great Canyon. This one comes from the blue map. Oh, excuse me. Also, they were derived from these resources. If y'all are familiar with Voice of the Grand Canyon, it's a project that we uh, came out with at the trust of with interviews of um, tribal members talking about the uh, cultural significance of the canyon. And then there's a part two uh, by Quays of the Little, of Little Colorado River, which was kind of the same idea, but uh, cultural connections to, to the LCR. And then there's also a map that we uh, that we gave out, which is a correct the Grand Canyon map. And so these lesson plans correspond with those resources. Should have mentioned that at the top. Anyway, but the Grand Canyon, that's the second lesson plan. Um, and it really uh, kind of dives more in depth to um, you know what the Grand Canyon is faced with kind of on a day-to-day -day basis as far as you know, threats. It talks a little bit about um, you know some of the uh, past, you know, mining and, and things that's to escalate. So it's just kind of, you know, introduces this topic to people who might not know much about the Grand Canyon. You know, that these threats are here and that they need to be thought about. And it takes a lot of people to kind of go up against and protect the sacred land and also just the recreation land for y'all, um, you know, from, from extractive resource, uh, uh, extractive resources and different things of that nature. So um, again, not in too in depth, you know, we don't want people to start arguing when we go with this stuff, but, uh, but yeah, it's, I think it's a great tool to kind of introduce these ideas and get them going and get people's wheels turning because a lot of people don't realize this stuff and they can go to their things and get them close. So. so, yeah, we're excited about the future. And uh, there's definitely more to come. So, thank you all. And questions. Yeah. questions. Contact information. We also have a table over this. Yeah, table okay. over there. Come say hi. Anyone have any questions? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, these are lesson plans, but that's actually like our, our goal as the first kind of stepping up, jumping off point as the first project, you know, is to have like an information packet or booklet that y'all can just kind of refer to and have it like, you know, accessible. That's kind of our end goal. And we really had to kind of uh, hit pause on, on the project because, um, you know, we, we were told by some tribal members that, that we were kind of going a little too fast and that we need to slow down and make sure the cost is stuff for the sense of your picture. So yeah, but that's the end goal. Right. For sure, for sure, sure, absolutely. And that's you know we hope to have. We'll probably have like I'd say a sample. I don't. I want. I don't want to put time on it, but soon, soonish. But uh, yeah, that is actually the end goal: is to have some kind of little booklet 
So we provide just to be able to do it, you know, so we have to get used to it. And we have just two uh, lesson plans, like I said, and you can come find us over there. Uh, check them out. They're just fun back. Pretty simple stuff. I mean, and hopefully it will be good, you know, prompts and uh, just something you can try out in the river. And yeah, like I said, we love feedback and everything that we have coming in. So it's all I think about. Yeah. No, that's a great question. Um, you know, before we, we were uh, before we were, you know, notified that we should slow down and take option, we were working a lot with some of the outfitters, and I think just like uh, supporting us and also, you know, leaning into stuff like this, you know, really maybe trying it on and providing feedback, as well as you know trying to create a thing with more awareness in the river in general. I think y'all have such a big job and a stressful job and. You know, yeah, it's, I don't know how y'all do it, but seriously, uh, but either way, you guys have a great, great opportunity to spread so much knowledge because, you know, you have all these people coming from here and there, and then they can go into their own community and it can ripple out and everything. So just being aware of, uh, you know, people's ideas of, do they know, you know, that, that these tribes, the tribes exist? Do they know that, you know, we're still practicing our culture? things like that that's really important to create that first awareness the first level of awareness and yeah secondly i mean to, to to support you know what we do what we put out and um you know refer people to us if they if they're interested in learning more or to our website you know i mean i think that to bring in this website just spreading the awareness i think is key because in order to get things done and, and make things happen for the better on the river in terms of uh in relation to Travel members. I mean, I think just everyone needs to know about in general. So as long as we think, you know, there's that awareness, kind of being disseminated on the river and uh, maybe becoming more popular, then I think you know that's that's the first step in the, in the fight. So, and then also, you know, like I said, supporting us if we do, uh, you know, get to that point soon to work with other to work with outfitters again and get, you know, maybe some of our tribal members trained in river guides. And, you know. <laughs> It down the road a little bit. There's so many things to do. So just supporting us and making sure that people are aware that, yeah, these things exist would be great. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Well, off to a great start here. So we're going to take a little 15 minute break here, a little pause for the cause. Outhouses over to the left here as you go outside. Don't forget to check out all of our booths and members here. Support your favorite organizations. We got the police wear outside. And if you